Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Nico Para. In the last episode, um, apparently Chakra was in heat and we had to fix that as you guys saw. And now they are sleeping soundly. Aww, she's so adorable when she says the purr. Chakla and Vanilla curled up, completely appeased. Chakla was all back to normal after being satisfied. Oh, yeah, satisfied. Although she could have just been exhausted after all that and would return to that state soon. Maybe, probably. There's a lot to raising cat girls, huh? Mm hmm, seems. To think that raising cat girls would involve this as well. I didn't think I'd become such a cat girl lover either. Hmm, well, I have no regrets. Well, that's good. When you have regrets, then you're just gonna be thinking about that a lot then. With a slightly perplexed smile, I poked the cheeks of the two cat girls. <laughs> yes, yes, I love you too. I responded to the two cat girls as they mumbled in their sleep while rubbing their heads. They were like daughters and even lovers. Those feelings mixed together. Hmm, if you think about as their owner and as a man, I guess I'm really lucky, huh? Very lucky. In that world, <laughs> where cat girls actually exist. Absolutely honest goodwill with no mind games. I guess that's what made cat girls so wonderful. Really? Oh, maybe. The, the honesty. Straight up honesty. No beating around the bush. No lies. That's what I felt as I gazed at their innocent sleeping faces. See you tomorrow, Chocola, Vanilla. I softly stroked their cheeks once more. They responded to my caresses while sleeping. Wait, were they sleeping? Are they sleeping? I tidied up Chocola and Vanilla's bed. I gazed upon their precious sleeping faces one last time and quietly left their room. Aww. Master, more, more. Meow, Chocola. He touched me there. Meow. <laughs> Touch her where? Hmm. Well do. Roger, give me a sec. Let's see. Two shortcakes, two cheesecakes, two fruit tarts. Hmm, one gato. Gato? I don't know how to say that. One milifu. One Mont Blanc. What are you doing, Chocola? Yep, it's the same as the sales invoice. Wow. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay. Pet, pet. Okay then, be careful of cars and people and come back safe and sound. Huh? What? 
Hmm? Forgot what? There's nothing... Uh... Aww. Ch Chocola? I wasn't expecting that. Hawaii? Look, we can't be doing that in the bakery. Oh, Cat Panion? Okie dokie. Ah, Chakala. And zoom, there she goes. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> That's funny. Huh? Ah, uh, no. Well, you could say she was... So, um, yes? <laughs> well, um... I'm sorry, could we stop with this, please? <laughs> really? I wonder how... How, uh... How uh, awkward it was for the first person to have a cat panion. Or have a cat grudger partner. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not that good with these types of conversations, so I'd appreciate it if... Why, have you been spying on me, female customer A? Oh, hmm. Would you like a bag of tea? Of tea leaves? Then? I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of work. <laughs> I, oh. Hi there, Vanilla. I guess I do get uh, embarrassed, it seems, around talking about this subject. In Kasho's view. Yes? That's it? And they were just staring. Whew! They finally left. Peace and quiet. We had a brief pause after those guests left. I'm not very good at talking about my romantic affairs like that. After all, since I was young, the only thing I've done has been making Japanese sweets. Huh? Oh yeah, the, his family makes sweets. I was exhausted from trying to figure out how to respond to them. Wait, hold on, I'm confused. If their family makes sweets, and he's making pastries, why is his dad against that? I, I don't understand. Is it because he wants him to continue his business? I mean, it's still in the same, like, branch in its own way. It's sweet and delicious. Alrighty. Yeah, got it. Thanks. What are you jeeing about? What are you so angry about, Vanilla? Wait, she's angry? Huh? I, I should know why? I don't know why, so that's why I'm asking. Ah, uh, are you hungry or something? If you are, you can have a slice of cake. Oh, I'm sorry. And just why are you bringing up chocolate? She doesn't really get upset often. Aside from her desperately yelling, I'm hungry, sometimes. What? I wasn't arguing the customers. Hey, that's a false accusation. Just when was I arguing them?
But I wasn't ogling them. What? What? I'm not, I'm not a horny pastry buffer. I don't even know what that is. Sounds bad. Vanilla folded her arms and snorted. A horny pastry puffer, she says. There was an unpleasant sound to those words. I just told you that, Kasho. How? I wasn't being flirty at all. I was telling them I didn't want to talk about it. I got it, I got it. I'm not flirting, so it's okay. Actually, I'm really not very good at stuff like that. Wait, thumbs down? Oh. It's just a misunderstanding. Don't be mad. Oh. What? Isn't hmph an angry sound though? It was a false accusation to say I was fooling around with chocola. Yeah. Hmm. Once I put everything Vanilla is saying together, it sure seems like mm, you're jealous, huh? Sorry. I'll be more careful next time. Does this kind of sound like you're jealous, though? I got it, I got it. I'm sorry. I'll act with more restraint. Uh, I got it, okay? There, there. Vanilla puffed out her cheeks as I patted her on the head. Even Vanilla gets jealous, huh? Oh, so she is jealous. I thought she was more carefree than this, though. I guess it's to be expected, since despite being always together, Chocola hasn't been paying much attention to her recently. Well, it's only been like a day. I need to be more careful as their owner. Come to think of it. Are you in heat yet, Vanilla? No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm just concerned about your physical health, okay? Yeah, why would you ask that? It's kind of weird. Hey, I'm saying that while you come closer to me. Well, I guess you're doing fine then. I really was honestly worried though. Vanilla leveled a chilly glare at me while I was thinking that. Hmm. Master is a horny pastry puffer. Uh, are you also going to put whipping cream or something on chocolate as well? Are you? <laughs> I like chocolate's eyes there. It's like, <gasps> he's a pastry puffer. A horny pastry puffer. Well, I'm going to end the episode here, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Nico Para. And in the next episode, we'll find out what's going to happen next. So everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!